Here in WA, we had an ideal start to the season across most of the state. There were late rains in April, which means that growers had the opportunity for early weed control. Then those follow-up rains meant that crops were being sown in May. This year, mace was again the predominant variety sown across the state. However, dry sowing or very early sowing in uh, early May with short to medium maturing varieties isn't ideal. Those crops have a risk of frost or a late wet harvest affecting grain quality. In contrast, on the south coast, the break occurred later in May. So those growers didn't have the opportunity for early sowing opportunities using those longer maturing varieties such as yip pea. Uh, and the new varieties that are coming through, Trojan and Harper. In the north and eastern districts, we had a dry, warm winter, and so crops were flowering up to three weeks earlier than normal. So the yield potential of those crops has suffered. The dry conditions in August and September has meant that disease hasn't been a, a big issue for crops, but this year we've had reports of crown rot out in the eastern districts. We suggest that growers keep an eye out for whiteheads to get an indication of crown rot. Next year though, we might want to be considering intro sowing with a, a less susceptible variety such as emu rock. Rust wasn't an issue here in the west this year. However, with the wet spring, we're expecting a green bridge. So next year, growers need to be considering managing that and looking at their variety choices. We expect mace to be the mainstream variety again next year, but it's not ideal for those early sowing opportunities. The newer varieties, the longer maturing varieties such as Trojan and Harper have a better fit in that environment. However, the late break on the south coast wasn't ideal for them. We should get some really good information though from the National Variety Trials and the Agronomy Trials across the state on their performance. For next season, we have two new noodle wheats, which is really exciting for the industry. Zen is a, a variety that derives from Kalingari and Walcatchum, and it has a maturity similar to Kalingari. It's an, a, a noodle wheat uh, we're still waiting on its LMA assessment. It has a better disease package and it's high yielding. Supreme is a noodle wheat that has the potential for a premium noodle market. Its maturity is similar to Arano and it is derived from Arano. It has a better rust package and uh, really has a fit for those later sowing opportunities. Both of these varieties were included in last year's National Variety Trial Program and coupling that with this year's data from 2014, we'll get a really good feel for how those varieties fit in their system. National Variety Trials provide good long-term information on the performance of most varieties in a range of environments and seasonal conditions. And it's this information that will help you make the most appropriate variety choices for your location.